Calgary, hometown hero Kevin Coe is clear through to the quarterfinals of the Humpties Champions Cup at Winsport Arena. Coe qualified for the playoffs with a 5-2 victory over Winnipeg's Mike McEwen during the last round robin draw Friday night. The recently crowned players' champion Coe finished the preliminary play with a 3-1 record and takes on Edmonton's Brendan Botcher, who also went 3-1 on Saturday afternoon at 4 p.m. Mount. Meanwhile, McEwen ended at 2-2 and takes on Saskatoon's Colton Flash in a tiebreaker at 8.30 a.m. MT Team Coe at third Mark Kennedy said it was key to avoid the tiebreaker jam. You go to the tiebreakers, you're not going to have an easy game, he said. We wanted to play well in that one and we did. Mike had a couple opportunities that he usually makes and he missed them, so he gave us a few gifts but we'll take it and happy to make it into the quarters. Programming alert, watch an encore presentation of Draw 13 Saturday at 11.30 a.m. ET on Sportsnet 1. After McEwen settled for a single in the second, Kawa squandered a shot for three in the third as he just had to draw into the paint and went all the way through the rings to only score a deuce. The bad breaks shifted in the other direction from there though as McEwen's raise attempt for two in the fourth went through untouched and he had to settle for a single that tied it 2-2. Two two. McEwen misfired another run back in six sailing past KOE's counter on the button and the Canadian Olympic rep drew in to the four-foot circle for his second point and a 4-2 advantage. Koa remained in charge and added a steal in seven to make it a three-point game as McEwen's run double attempt failed to connect with the counter. The seven-time Pinty's Grand Slam of curling title winner McEwen had nowhere to hide and Nate and Koa ran him out of rocks. They were tough shots, Kennedy said. They were shots you expect Mike to make though and I think he's a little disappointed that he missed them. All around for us, we played pretty well and gave our skip a chance to make some good shots. He made two great shots in six for the deuce and kind of got control of the game and went from there. The season finale Pinty's Grand Slam of Curling Tournament is the last for both teams. McEwen is joining Team Carruthers at fourth Stones next season with third BJ. Newfeld linking up with Coe at third and lead Denny Newfeld going to Team Gunlugson at second. BJ Newfeld replaces Kennedy, who is taking a break from competitive curling. Flash is also coming on board at second with Brent Long returning to his home province of Ontario to play with Team Epping. Elsewhere in draw 13 Brad Gushu of Street. Johns, NL, took the top seed of the playoffs undefeated at 4-0 wrapping things up with a 7-3 decision over Winnipeg's Reed Carruthers. It's important because it gives you hammer throughout the playoffs, unless we face a 4-0 team, but our record is pretty good when we have the hammer and I like our chances if we have the hammer. Gushu said, it's a good bonus to get with winning that game but making the playoffs is the first priority and then see if you can get hammer. Even though Gushu had already qualified earlier. In the day, with a 7-2 victory over Team Persinger from the US, he didn't ease up and wanted to stay on track against Carruthers, who was in a must-win situation. It's more from our standpoint we were just trying to keep our game together, playing solid and building towards the playoffs, Gushu said. Sometimes in those games when you're already qualified you can let down, have a bad performance and then all of a sudden that carries over into the playoffs. We didn't do that tonight. We played well and we even improved on some of our performances this week, which is a good sign. The GSOC Bonus Cup champion Gushu jumped out to a 3-0 lead with a deuce in the second followed by a steal of one in the third. The teams alternated singles in four and five and Carruthers took two in the sixth to close within one. Carruthers, 1-3, crashed on his last in seven and shook hands to end his season with Gushu already sitting three. Two-time Olympic gold medalist John Morris, who plans on stepping back from men's play to focus on mixed doubles, subbed in at third this week on Team Carruthers. Brad Jacobs of Sault Ste. Marie, ONT, kept his title defense alive blitzing world junior champion Tyler Tardy of Langley, BC, 9-0. Although Jacobs, 2-2, was forced to single in the second end, the 2014 Olympic gold medalist took the express route on the steel train swiping pairs of points in the third and fourth ends and a big four score in the fifth. Tardy heads home with a 1-3 record. Jacobs takes on Winnipeg's Jason Gunlugson in the morning tiebreaker. In women's tiebreakers, defending champ Rachel Holm and of Ottawa State in the mix scoring three in the eighth to oust Alina Peets of Switzerland 8-7. Edmonton's Val Sweeting eliminated Delia DeJang of Grande Prairie, Elta, 4-3 and moves on to a second tiebreaker in the morning against Winnipeg's Jennifer Jones. The Humpties Champions Cup features 15 men's teams and 15 women's teams that won events over the course of the season in order to qualify for entry. 
broadcast coverage resumes with the women's quarterfinals at noon MT on Sportsnet 360 with online streaming available at Sportsnet Now, Canada, and YAR TV, International. The semifinals are scheduled for Saturday evening at 8 p.m.